In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the client portal in Hello Bonsai to interact with your clients and help them keep their projects all in one spot and use them most efficiently. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer. I educate on a bunch of client management systems and Hello Bonsai is one of my favorites. I do have a discount link that I'll put in the description that you can use if you want to sign up for Hello Bonsai. So one thing I love about these systems is the client portals and how they help you interact with your clients. And I think Hello Bonsai's with some recent updates has been just really, really good. So the way that you will set this up is you go into your client section and then you click on client portal. And this is gonna give you all of the like details that apply to all of the client portals. So you have the ability to do a little bit of branding. If you turn off the bonsai branding, you won't see that anymore. And then I can update my color scheme in my brand settings. I can add my logo. I'm just going to change this to um, one of my brand colors, which is this kind of pinky red, beautiful hide hello bonsai branding and show mine. And I'll just click save changes. And that's all going to show up here in your portal. You can now see that that button is here and you can upload like a little heading and logo and things like that. Um, this one does not, this is just the default one, but I can upload a new cover here to make it really look like it came from Design by Lainey and not from Hello Bonsai. You can also disable the portal if you don't want them to have access to it. Right, and then the way that your clients can access the portal is through this link. So when I copy and paste it, what I will see is sign into the client portal. I'll have to put in my email address and then it will kind of match it with the client project on the back end and they'll be able to see all of the different projects that they have. So if you have a client with multiple projects, they'll be able to see that in the portal um, and they'll immediately get a link to log in as soon as they um, type in their email right here. So when you're starting to think about how you incorporate this into your workflow, probably what I would do is just have this link sent to everyone as an automation as soon as they sign their contract, as soon as they uh, pay their retainer, etc. So you'll go into the automations tab and I have another video on that and just select like kind of what you when you want them to get the portal, send a form or a message. I would probably do it as kind of an email message and just title it with the portal, put that link in it. And then every time they you know, sign the first invoice on a project, they'll get that portal link and be able to log into that. So what does that look like from their perspective? So when I go into the project and I click on one of the projects, this is my view, view as contractor. So this is their entire project. You can see all their activities, their tasks, invoices and expenses, my notes that are only visible to me. And then this documents and links over here. And I have another video specifically about these if you wanna check that out, but it's really helpful. And then you can look at viewing it as a client and they can see some of that information, but not all of it. You can see they can't see the notes here. Um, they can just see like the build hours, the documents and links and the activity that pertains to them. And they can also click into invoices and pay them there. One thing that I love is they have the ability to add um, files in here. So if they wanted to upload like this picture and be like, hey, I really like this ribbon. Is there a way, you know, we could use that and they can say ribbon colors and then I'll get an email saying, hey, your client uploaded a file onto your project and I can check that out. Beautiful right here for both of us forever, which I really like. Um, they also have the ability here to click this and go ahead and send me an email. So if they see something on here that's confusing or that needs an action item, they can just click here, send the email already. So I love this client portal. I think it's really helpful for um, all of your clients to be able to see everything in one place. And it's helpful for you to have a very similar view on the back end, be able to upload your documents, and links, um, change the invoices, expenses, all of those things that um, are applicable to this project. And just as a reminder, they um, can see the invoices and the time tracking, but they can't see like the expenses and things like that, which is really helpful. There's also the collaborator view, which is going to be a little different. So this is um, like if you're working with another contractor, someone else on your team, um, if I'm a wedding vendor, so if maybe their wedding planner also wants to be involved in this, they'll be able to see some things here, uh, but not be able to do any like invoice work or anything like that. 
So this is how you use the client portal in Halabonte. If you're interested in using them, you can check out some videos I have on all of these other things that they do here on this playlist. And I do have a link that'll get you a discount on your first uh, month or first year when you sign up for Hello Bonsai. So check it out. Um, some things I especially love about this are the invoices, contracts, and also their finances and accounting. So check out those videos because those are some of the areas where Hello Bonsai truly shines.